Hi everybody, welcome back to the Dice Must Flow and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, some modeling that we've been doing here at our house and that is for uh, modifying some of the, the Skaven Storm Fiends. Now this is a kit that comes from GW and it's got the Storm Fiends and they're really a quite a, a pretty powerful unit. And so this kit comes with uh, essentially one of each weapon type. So you get one guy with a warp fire projector, one guy with a rattling gun, and one guy with the poison globe wind launcher. And so if you're building a unit though for a tournament, and this is what my son's doing for Adepticon, he wants a unit of three of these all with warp fire projectors. And if you're playing in a tournament with the uh, tournament with the what you see is what you get, what you gotta you gotta have the model uh, uh, the properly modeled. If you want three war projectors, you're looking at getting three of these kits, which are $64 a piece, just to get the one uh, bit. And if you look at the bit sites, they're all sold out. And so we started looking at ways to try and make uh, uh, these guys. So here's what the Skaven looks like with a warp fire projector built. Let me try and get a background behind it. Maybe it'll show it a little better. So that's really what the warp fire projector looks like there. And so um, we basically built the mod, had him build the model uh, without the, with just cutting off everything right there. And so we're going to try and create something that looks a little bit like a warp fire projector using bits and stuff that you can get from the hardware store. And so uh, let's show you what we've come up with. So the idea with the warp fire projectors is we're going to try and use uh, something that's going to create uh, something of a gun uh, with a uh, um, kind of narrowing down scope. And so what we what I came up with was uh, buying some um, of these little pro line uh, sleeve and insert uh, little pipe compression sleeves. And so um, as you can see here, uh, we have uh, the the sleeve. Um, compression sleeve and insert and so essentially we're, we're, we're gonna have that uh, as our main thing um, try and zoom in on that so so yeah we're gonna have sort of that uh, as the main thing now these are too long um, so what I'm gonna do is use a pipe cutter here, which we're going to back up now. And we're just going to cut this guy uh, down to a, a more appropriate length. Um, I'm going to put it in here. And uh, I've done a couple of these, so I kind of know about the length I'm wanting, which is about that. And I'm just going to use. Uh, um, uh, pliers to hold this piece. Now it's going to bend it. You can actually see some of the ones I've done before. Um, the, the extra piece that's coming off. So you need to make sure this is the side we're going to want to keep and this is the side we're going to discard. And so I'm just going to hold that there and like the pipe cutter we're just going to spin it around and around and get that cut started. Hopefully we can see that in there. And we're going to tighten it up, spin around, and keep doing this until it cuts through this little pipe. And you got a nice smooth, nice smooth cut there. Uh, discard this piece. And we've got uh, this. Oops. And then we've got uh, this guy going together. So it's going to go like that. And that'll be the main start of the uh, warp fire projector. So. When you're going to need one of these for each arm of each storm fiend. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut these and we'll be back showing you how we put them on. Okay, we've got 
two different types of storm fiends that we're going to try and put the the um, warp fire projectors on. So uh, this guy, um, he's just got the regular uh, flat arms. With, there's no um, uh, tubing coming out to him. And so we're going to, that's the one where we're going to build and do this, uh, uh, th this type of thing here. I'm going to move it back uh, with the, uh, with the sleeve and stuff. Now this guy, he's got the um, um, wires coming out. So that sleeve gets in the way. And so we're just going to go ahead and use just a regular uh, gun mounted uh, on, on them. So let's go ahead and, and do those. And so we're just going to try and put him on here. Now this um, outside um, is hollow. So we're going to have to, you really have to get the outside more than the inside uh, with the glue joint. And then we're going to kind of bend this back so we've kind of got the, the tubes going up to that guy and we'll do the same on his uh, other arm so there you go we basically got one guy with kind of uh, gun looking globe deer things can add a little bit of green stuff rounding this out to get it to look more um, more like this piece here but this is a, a good start now this guy he's just got regular um, the regular arms and I think he had the gauntlets on or whatever um, and so we're just gonna try and put uh, um, onto him the um, uh, the full sleeved thing there. And we're going to try and put this uh, uh, sleeved gun uh, on there, like so. So there you can see. Uh, got him with uh, a gun uh, added. <clears throat> so we would add the other one. Uh, might want to straighten these up a little bit and, and potentially use uh, a little bit of green stuff or, or filler there to make that round, to make it try and look a little more like our round globe or add some uh, wires to this coming off of him. I think that'd be a good idea. But anyway, that's the gist of it. I wanted to kind of go over what we've been doing, how to how to come up and make these uh, um, warp fire projectors for these Skaven. Um, and uh, this is what we came up with. I think that uh, it's going to work out pretty good for people, for us. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys will, uh, um, anybody looking might find this as a useful way to, to go ahead and mod these minis and not have to buy like three kits just to get three of the, the kind that they want. And so that's it for now. We'll talk to you later. Thanks and have a good day.